Hey, I'm Jason Creel. I want to talk to you about cold calling in the lawn business. And the simple question, does cold calling work in the lawn business? Well, you know, it's one of those confusing questions where the answer is both yes and no. So I want to go over three types of cold calls I've been making and tell you which ones I think work and which ones do not work. So first type of cold calling that, that I've been doing is where I'm riding around and I'm putting out postcards on, on customers doors and I'm also stopping in local businesses and talking to them so I'll walk in and I, I typically focus on smaller businesses where I have a, a better opportunity to speak to a decision maker but walk in and say hey you know are you uh, I'm with Alabama Lawn Pros. I know you, you may have someone already taking care of your property, but would you mind if I put in a quote? Well, so it's simple like that, and uh, the results have not been great. I mean, I did have, uh, I've had some people allow me to put in a quote. Uh, I've had some people who would, you know, who, would, who knew family members of mine and would say, hey, you know, call on these people. So it's given me some contacts. But in general, uh, you, you know, it, it's cold calling. You're calling, you're interrupting someone's day. You're going and talking to them. They really didn't ask for you to come. And so this would be an example of cold calling. I'm, I'm not going to say it doesn't work because it, it most certainly can. But it's not a warm lead. It's not someone interested in looking for a lawn care business particularly. So, um this would be an example of one that, that's not working too well for me. All right, uh, example two, and this this would be, uh, it's what I'm planning on doing Saturday, and I've done it before, and, and I basically hate doing this, but I'm, I'll do it anyway. And that's where, on a Saturday, when people are home, I go into select neighborhoods, uh, and this is probably not safe in all areas, but uh, for me, it's, it's not that dangerous. So. Uh, go and I actually knock on people's doors and talk to them. Now it's early March here in Alabama and so the weather is, is starting to warm up a little bit. People that have not had their lawn sprayed are starting to see weeds. Um, and so I'm, it's an opportunity for me with my you know, lawn truck ready to go, ready to spray, that I can actually sell them on the spot. And so um, just looking at the customers I've picked up this year, I think of how many postcards I've put out and you know and that is that does have some effectiveness but it's also when I'm able to actually talk to the people and to tell them you know why they should use my company and there's no contract and here's what the price is and I give you a money back guarantee if I can't you know make your yard look better we, we will resolve the issue or I'll give your money back you know just can give them some assurances and they can uh, you know, build a little bit of credibility and put a, a face with a name that then I have a lot higher chance of landing that customer. So um, that's what I'm planning on doing this weekend to go out and talk to people, try to, you know, actually spray some people on the spot. I'll carry my little, uh, probably carry my little uh, credit card swiper on my smartphone so that people can pay on the spot. If they don't have a check or cash, they can pay with a credit card. So, and hopefully, not only getting some people, you know, let me spray the yard, but that they would be a customer um, for the long run. So that's the second one. Again, it's not comfortable, it's not great results, but it allows you to talk to people, allows you to quote them a price, allows you to represent your business where they may have had a company and they, they've never met the owner, they've never met, you know, they just know that somebody comes out and mows their grass or somebody comes out and sprays, you know, so. You know, you may pick up a couple of disgruntled customers. The third way of cold calling, this is what I'm most excited about, and this is what I've been, you know, here. It snowed last week, it's ice out today. So there's not that much you can do, um, but this is what I've been using some of my time doing. I call other lawn business uh, owners. And so, you know, it's one thing I like about the lawn business. It, 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 we are competing against each other, you know, in the same market, but at the same time, I've found to be a lot more camaraderie, you know, than it is competition. I mean, we're competing, but, you know, not, not in a cutthroat way necessarily. So maybe, maybe 
maybe that's not your case, but I found uh, that some of my people I get to know are other people in the lawn business, and they're doing well, and they they want to see me succeed too, and so we we can in a sense root for each other and help each other out while at the same time competing against each other. So what I've been doing is I've been calling on guys who are mowing lawns, you know, because I'm primarily focused on spraying, um, and reaching out to them and saying, hey, you know, I'm, I'm Jason Creel, I'm with Alabama Lawn Pros. I saw you, you know, you have a mowing business and I was just seeing, do you have a company that you're referring your spray work to? Because if not, I'd like to be that company and I can even compensate you for any referrals. Well, I've, I've called companies and just through, through that simple conversation has allowed me to get to know the other mowing business in town, to meet them, um, and, to, and that's, I've had, you know, most all of them have been friendly. Some say, you know, I've already have a relationship with so-and-so that I send my work to. I've had several who are interested in meeting me, talking with me in more in depth, you know, going having lunch together and talking about uh, subbing out some work to me, whether they're bidding on a, a commercial property that needs spraying, you know, they can handle the mow side and I can come in and give them a bid to handle the spraying part. But, you know, you see the point. There's, if I have all these lawn businesses that will refer business to me and I build credibility with them and I um, compensate them for their referrals and I have that relationship and they know that you know, when they put a customer in my hands that, that's going to be done right and their yard is going to be looking great and that customer is going to be happy. So, um, so anyway, that's, that's the type of cold call I'm making to people. And I think other business owners, you know, for instance, I had to get a, a water pump put on my truck. Um, so I met the diesel mechanic in this, the new town I'm living in. So, you know, just to be able to initiate a relationship with him, a small mechanic shop only works on diesels or primarily at least and you know to be able to build that relationship with him to say hey you know I'm in lawn business and my truck's a diesel so I'll probably bring it in for a little you know routine maintenance or if something breaks and uh, just to try to initiate because who understands better about someone trying to grow and start a small business than another small business owner so you know, just networking best way you can. And I think networking amongst other lawn business owners is a key way, especially if, if you're in the mowing business. You know, when I was primarily doing mowing, I had a relationship with a spray company. I'd send them business. They'd send me mowing business. You know, worked out great. So I'm doing the same thing now. So hope that gets your... Uh, Get your brain rolling. If there's people out there, you can network. Maybe, you know, what I do is I... I reach out to people, I send them a letter, tell them how much I really appreciate them uh, thinking of my business, send them a $5, you know, Starbucks car, or Dunkin' Donuts or whatever, you know, whatever you want to give them, just let them know, you know, I'm thinking about you. And these, some of these lawn guys, I go out and I'll spray their yard for free, you know, the first time. I say, you know, I'm serious about us having this partnership and um, you referring business to me. So, hope that helps. Thanks.